what is fashion, entertainment, nightlife, and lifestyle. I'm your host, Melissa Dean, and we're at the Text World New York City. Today, our first stop is with Tobolus, and we have our fashion designer creator, Miss Bora, where she's going to talk about the new wave of fashion in the state today. Hi. Hi, my name is Bora. I'm from South Korea and Pobulus is a sustainable design studio where we use a lot of recycled materials and make recycled products. So here I can show you um, these bags and these little wallets. They are made out of recycled plastic. Um, recycled plastic bags especially from the agriculture industry okay. where these plastic bags couldn't really be recycled before, so it used to be all burned off or the buried. So uh, to solve the plastic problems and do something for the environment, we thought, what is that we could do? And we love animals. Yeah. That's why our uh, company name is Populous because nice. what we are trying to do is we want to reduce the carbon footprint to save these populous animals' paw print. So that's our um, design studio name. So uh, to do something right, we thought, what is there something that we can do? And we thought, hey, how about something to maybe alternate maybe leather? Maybe we can come up with a different choice. So we thought if we could use uh, plastic waste and turn that into a leather alternative choice, then we can kill two birds at the same time, solving nice. the plastic problem and save the animals at the same nice. time. Nice. So these are our products. So um, each bag, but especially for this bag, this one is um, this one recycled about 2.2 kilograms worth of plastic bags. So that's wow. actually a lot of plastic. Wow. And we also use these um, images of animals that we would like to rescue and protect. And we used to be actually located in Sumatran rainforest. We used to do the like, you know, we actually did the rescuing the animals and we put them in the shelter and we used to do a lot of this NGO work. But after COVID, we had to get evacuated. We had to go back to our country. And we were designers and we thought, what is this something we could do? So this is a business we started after that. So part of our profit all was to uh, the Sumatra Rainforest to still save these animals. Well, I want to say congratulations for still pushing forward because you were actually doing something for the animals at that time and COVID pushed us out. But you still have in mind to still save the animals and the planet. So being pushed out to now to something more broader has led you here? Yeah. Oh exactly. my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So can you tell me about this particular fabric? Uh, these fabrics are printed fabrics on the uh, organic cotton uh, fabrics. And these are neither animals images or nothing like that, but this just comes from my own creativity. Oh, I love nice. the colors. Nice. People pass by and they always ask me rainbow throw up on you and I said yes. <laughs> and unicorns throw up here too. So I love lots of different colors and to make it fun. What I'm trying to do is I would like young people, the next generation, that street fashions or the young people's fashion can be sustainable too and still be stylish. Yes. So we like to send out the environmental messages out there. And a lot of times I notice that the environment, global warming, climate change, such heavy topics, people feel uncomfortable, they don't want to talk about it. Right, right. So we make it fun so that people can still be reminded of what's happening yeah. and then they can pay attention and get the messages but they don't necessarily feel you know, all frightened. Nice, so nice. we would like to make lots of colors and make the fun images to send out the messages so nice. that people don't rem people remember. I love, I love this here. <laughs> this look like this can go into a frame and put it on a wall. Yeah. The art on a wall. <laughs> Thank you. These are 17 uh, animals of endangered species that we try to protect. Wow. Wow. Oh my God, my heart. <laughs> and we also uh, made this fabric in this after what happened in Ukraine. Because oh. Where it's so bad for the environment, not just for people, but for everything. So yes. we, we yes. really like to just create lots of images and use the design of fabrics and fashion to send yeah. out good messages to people out there. Can I just say I love your heart? Oh, thank you. Oh my God. Oh, I just love your heart. <laughs> so let's talk about more on this side. Yeah. 
red panda is one of my favorite animals and this is how it all began actually uh, when I uh, first learned about this animal he was just simply so adorable that I fell in love with but then when I found out why this particular species was at the edge of being extinct was um, I found that I heard that um, they are very trusting animals so when poachers go to the forest to hunt them they call them and they are curious and they are trusting so they come to you and that's how they get caught wow. so they don't actually have the uh, natural predators they don't have the natural um, defense, me yeah. defense mechanism they are not supposed to be in danger right, but right. you know the hunters hunt them for their beautiful fur so now they are in dangerous places so from that was like seven eight years ago and that's when i thought i want to do something what is this something that i could do to these animals and that's how it all began <laughs> so oh that's why the red panda my uh, that's my love so we make uh, fabrics and all the designs that we have yes. so much red panda on it everything's red panda red panda i love it I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Is there anything else that you want to share with the world, especially the younger generation? Because you did hit a, um, a hard point to drive home. They can still be fashionable and be conscious of the world at the same time. If you look around, there are just so much things that we uh, basically just put them in the trash after use of once or twice. But if you take a really good look at it, they are still in good use and you'll be surprised how much stuff you can find to actually recycle and upcycle them. So take a look because um, your trash might turn into something like treasure. Right. So, and that's right. what I do too. So right. recycling is cool right. and upcycling is cool. Right. So use the resource that's around you and still can be fashionable is the message that I to send young people. Thank you so, so very much. Thank, Thank you for you. your time. Thank you everyone for listening and please tell the, the viewers where they can find you on Instagram. Instagram is at populous under hash design. Bye! Beautiful, I love the material. Very nice. Thank you. Right here. Can we just get to these right here? Of course. So 
those pants like recently there is a trend like of the those fabric and uh, in Chinese we call it stung xin rou and in English I think it's cord cord corduroy, corduroy okay. yeah okay. and this kind of fabric I think from last season till this season I assume next season it still will be a how trend and so we also have some shorts made from the same fabric wow yeah and i saw a lot of people wearing like those kind of fabric shorts in the new york street a lot so i think this will be the how selling one like in our show this today or tomorrow as well so totally in hot trend yes but of can course. i just tell you the shorts are getting shorter yeah i do i saw for for me it's like curious before yes. like for yes. many hands even shorts usually be a longer a little longer yeah but this i think because of like the trendy and also some season things like right. they make it even shorter nice. but there is like a security safety short it won't be too short like no yeah it won't be too short but it will definitely show the man's leg their thighs yeah their thighs <laughs> their muscles <laughs> their muscles yeah their muscles like their fitness like they yeah. can show off to all of the world <laughs> Nice. I love the golden color. Yeah, the mustard one. This too, we bring two like the summer color to the show, like because this represents the next spring summer trend. So it's bright and it's a eye catchy. So even someone just passed through our booth, they will see it right. really quick. I can see these also paired with when we talk about fashion, paired with uh, a long boot for women and then a nice bucket hat and then maybe like um, a button down white shirt i can see that happening with those for me I, I like to buy those kind of shorts for me and like just like you said yeah. i like both and yeah. maybe a uh, hat yeah that looks so fashion for us fashion folk mm -hmm. so what do we have here oh those i have to mention this like <laughs> those the hybrid shorts Usually for men, like when they go to beach or they go swim swimming, like they can wear these pants. It's like it almost feels like um um is this a little wiper in here or it's polyester made and okay. it's like fast drying. So if you go to the beach, you swim a little bit. You don't want your pants like wow. wet all the time. Yeah, so wow. some cotton one but wet all the time is not fast drying. But this one is fast drying and it's super light. Wow. And wow. some pants we have the lining inside for security reasons. Like you don't want to like, nice. see through. So in this one, we have this season we print a little like bold. Nice. And it's more summer. Like I yeah. know because I'm from California. so. In our city, like I saw a lot of men like wearing this in the summer, especially when they go to beach or right. like or gym, surfing, yeah, and surfing stuff like that. Yeah. These are really cute. I love the fact that they're easy dried. It's almost like water repellent. Uh, like it's a water, water repellent. Like, yeah. A little bit water repellent. Not like the 100 water repellent. Right. But it's fast drying for sure. Yeah. Okay. We, our factory can definitely make like water repellent for those those people want to find some fish like go fishing gotcha. they want some pants is water repelling gotcha. so we can definitely do that yeah. for sure nice. and uh, uh by the way uh i forgot to mention our factory <laughs> our factory name is honest and we based it in china like in the middle of china and we also have an office in Anaheim, California. Like there is a showroom and a warehouse there and welcome guys to stop by if you want. And we will have more products like new season products come in like every month. And also our factory is available to provide ODM service, which means like we have our own designer. So okay. they can provide like the design she creates. Right. and present to our customers for those customers don't know how to go like in the future yeah. so we will present the new design with a new trend we collaborate together 
and then like the customer can pick oh i like this one can we start doing this one so we can start make a sample like ship to them and they can make a little adjustment then so it's like your in-house designer can work one-on-one yes. -on -one with your customer yes. who's willing to buy we will have one designer and also yeah. one team to nice. like merchandise with those customer and nice. provide everything the customer needs the accessory the buttons the belt nice. everything nice. Nice. yeah so what also too will stand out for fall that's coming up uh for us like i i will see our pants like the long pants you can see over there for those especially for those chino ones the chino ones and yes. it's like made of cotton this one is our like top selling in fall season nice. in fall season especially in, in california there's a lot of um, golf company company like the golf brand they were looking for gotcha. pants this one is like they love most and nice. this one and the others as well see this one the color khaki color oh yeah i love this yeah color. it's beautiful nice for people go golfing and like and i like the fact that it's straight yes straight at the bottom and not wide you can see our swing skills is yeah. top rated in china as well oh nice yeah we like don't right here, the it's, yes it's not sloppy and it's clean and beautiful nice. and we can also do the button like custom button for those brand want their name on the button and also the logo sometimes customize a lot for them I love it. I love it. I love it. And the colors, all of the colors, more, more like fall season, like the this one, the gray one, the khaki, and the dark blue one as well. This one is a shorts, but it's uh, made for those customer like right, right. Yeah, overrated. Like so, this one. It's like my dad who oh. still loves to play golf and things of that nature, uh -huh. but he likes to be in trend. Oh, really? Yeah. This one would be yeah. perfect yeah. choice. Yeah. Like yeah. it's lightweight yeah. and it's fast drying too right right it's, yeah it's, uh, it's beautiful for summer season yeah. like if you go outside they mm -hmm. go oh sorry, oh, sorry. <laughs> let me so i thank you for all the information when we check into this beautiful jacket this one i have to mention so we are a manufacturer for men pants over decades but this is the new line we start with like recently uh two or three years ago so because there's a lot of customers saying see you guys made a perfect job on pants why can't you make more like the coat the jacket like some customer won't like spend with their time to another factory because like the skills from one company so we start making like more um men's jackets and also men's top and the polo shirts so we try to work with this company and uh, start doing their jacket and they love it and the details and all of the works the sewings they love it nice and that's awesome where you can um keep everything in house because yeah. if they love the bottom they will come back and do yeah the that's right because yeah. some customers say i really don't know where to find the perfect factory to do the tops why can you guys do the same like the machines is slight different so we need to buy some machines oh wow this is so beautiful it feels it's it's so soft yeah the fabric is like a unique fabric you can see like there's a two colors uh, like a little bit red and a little bit white right yeah this is a special fabric but i have no idea the english name sorry <laughs> the chinese name is yang li <laughs> okay, so okay. this one is more comfortable and it, this fabric it's breathable too yes and yeah. for those golf yes, players they love yes. this fabric nice yeah it's comfortable and it won't like suck it like right, after right. a while so you keep tugging down yes. on your shirt and when you're doing a golf swing mm -hmm. you want to be and also fit. the spandex with the shirt yes, yeah it's yes. comfortable yes nice. and awesome. i have one more thing sorry guys yes to do is our recycled fabric. Oh, let's see. We that. just Absolutely. ended it last season. Let's show you guys. So these two pants, 
I know it's black color, maybe you cannot see the details clearly, but these are made from recycled polyester. Nice. So you can see that this is 88% recycled polyester. Wow. So, and we have the recycled logo here and some brand only do sustainable. So good for the environment. So yes, after yes. we know there's a trend for sustainable, so we try to source a lot of recycled fabric in China. So we will try to make more samples to show to our customer, especially in US. I think this is a big thing. Yeah. Like for the not only pants, I know for some accessories. For handbags, yeah, handbags, and yeah. Belts and things of that nature. Yeah. yeah. These are, and it's made very well. It's you would have never known. It's super comfortable and also fast drying as well. Yeah, yeah. Nice. We will have more recycled in the future. Okay. Uh, I will try to bring more different colors next season, but this one, like, this, since the show is like in this July, so we don't yeah. have time to make different uh, colors. Something. Yeah. But I think it's wonderful, even knowing that it is possible to do other colors, which yes. is great. Yes. And the drying factor, and I think everyone looks good in black. <laughs> that's right, that's right. That's what I think, but for yeah. some customer want to see details, the oh, sewing we cannot see, oh, okay. yeah. Well, that's a respect to the person who creates it. You mm -hmm. can see more of the detail. I will talk to our designer next time, like try to make some like trendy colors. Yeah. Especially for men, I think sometimes men take this not seriously as women. Like women will see, oh, I like this color, yeah. colorful. Yeah. But for men, sometimes they will say, oh, I want to be professional look. Right. I don't want to be colorful. Right. So, but I think this fashion is not only for women. It's also yes, for so men. For yeah. Men. I agree. I agree. Well, thank you so very much for catching that and showing us because right now that is where the age we are with global warming and things of that nature. Right. And it's good to be on top of it rather than trying to get to it. Yes. You know, so we just thank you guys today for Christina for letting us know what's happening with Honest. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you guys. Bye. and welcome to what is fashion entertainment nightlife and lifestyle i'm your host melissa dean and we're standing here with miss janice and she's a part of jashing so you so thank you for having us today this fine afternoon we are You're very here at uh the tex world new york city so what brings you back from the crippling time during covid I know the trade show hasn't been here since 2019. Yes. So what got you to come back? Well, the last time I attended the show was 2019. It's been three years. And uh, like I mentioned, you know, some of my clients went bankrupt by unexpectedly and during the pandemic. So today, this year, 2022, you know, it seems like, you know, the fashion industry is still there. Yes. Right? Our customers are still there. Clients are still there. So we the buyers are still there. Yes. We're waiting. <laughs> yes. So that's why we came here, you know, just to test the market. Okay. Just want to see, you know, how the market it is now, and uh, maybe how our, our new clients yeah. feel about the show, right? Yeah. And uh, that's why we are here. Okay. Yeah. I know it's the first day. It's going to be a number of days. I believe it's until Wednesday. Right. Um, I thank Thursday. you until Thursday. I yes. thank you for being here and coming back to test the market for us because without you guys, we will have nothing. So we are excited about what's to come. So what doesn't break us will make us stronger. I know economy has changed a lot, even for the consumer. But as far as designers, how are how are they handling everything? If you if you've noticed. I think designers are still active, mm -hmm. right? Because the fashion industry, you know, a lot of people are passionate about the fashion industry, right? Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, the thing I've noticed that has changed much is that, you know, the, the China pavilion is kind of shrinking. I think. In 2019, when I was here, there were, you know, almost half of the, um, the hall was packed with Chinese exhibitors. But now this year, I've only seen like a, a handful. 
probably wow. you know, around 20, 25 okay. exhibitors from China. Okay. That, yeah, that's the you know, biggest change I've noticed. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, for that, things do change and some, some people need an extra push. Mm -hmm. I would say that's just personally that I would say. But knowing that you guys are back, that gives us hope that the economy will come back, fashion will stay on the rise, designers are still designing for us, and not to forget the seamstress and, um, and then the consumer ourselves which we're looking to buy. Um, but I know it has been a total, it's like pulling a clock, pulling the clock from out under you, but knowing that you came back, I think that right there speaks volumes. I am proud. I am proud of Miss Janice and her team coming back. Um, we're excited about everything new. Fall is coming shortly, even though we're right now we're in the summer months. We're not thinking about coats right now, but when we go into a department store during the fall time, we're looking for coats. So what would be the trend that you guys have created? Is it a shorter jacket? Is it three quarter or is it full length? I would say short jacket, probably more in the trend for now. And also outdoor, outdoor wear okay. and active, active wear. Because you know, during the pandemic, a lot of people uh, work from home, right? Right. And they're going to sp spend a lot of time probably doing exercises at home. Right. Right. So what wear? For now, I don't see it as kind of, you know, in a trend. Gotcha. But the leisure wear yeah. is more like, you know, what people want. Yeah. Right, so therefore it would be, so you're saying it would be more like a Bellata yeah. jacket yeah. and taken from outside, going to the grocery store, something very quickly, and then coming back and working from home. Yes. Because it's actually kind of true. If you guys haven't noticed or not, a lot of people are still working from home around this time, and we are in 2022 right now. But working from home keeps you sitting still. Mm -hmm. So you definitely have to be active and what you wear should be lighter. Yes. So I totally agree with that. Okay. I'm one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you would like to share with the viewers out there? Well, um, yeah, okay. I'm just, uh, like these two jackets, yeah. right? Are short jackets. Yeah. Especially this one in camouflage the color. Camouflage. I love it. I love the sea foam green, almost green bluish. Yeah. with the beige and also this one uh, the full fur jacket uh, it's also very short about nice. the, about the waistline nice. yeah and get a feel of that yeah. oh my god oh yeah it feels good right? oh my god it's so soft yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now these uh, um, uh, polyfill padding jacket right yeah these are this one is short i brought nice. a couple more you know uh, short jackets than nice. longer ones so I understand what you mean, very light and movement yeah. from from really home and then going out. Because yeah. we're more home than right. going out. Yeah. I love it. And I love the colors. I love the scheme. It's still bright. It keeps you alive. Yes. <laughs> so these jackets are more movable and yeah. breathable. Right. right. Movable and breathable. That's right. That's right. Well, Ms. Janice, I thank you so much for spending time with us today. Thank you. I really appreciate your heart in coming back to New York and giving it the old college tries they used to say, but but keeping it by testing the water, I think that's a real a real live moment by testing the waters and knowing that we still can do what we have been created to do is to help people in fashion. Thank you guys, and we just thank you for being with us today, and see you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you.
much because I'm packing this morning. Put the light on if you don't have much light on this side.
get into some faux fur. Fabulous. Oh my God. If you guys can feel this, it's so soft. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. You always want to get a coat that's soft. Is, I don't know what. Here we go. Got some polyester, 100%. Keep you warm. Go back to the faux fur. This, first of all, let me tell you, this right here is polyester. If you can come in closer to this, just the texture, the waves would almost look as if it's an animal. And it's polyester, guys. It's polyester. Oh my gosh. Here we go. We have another one. This is polyester with acrylic and mode acrylic. Beautiful, beautiful. Two colors. Spectacular. My favorite color brown, tan for the brown and black girl. Look at that. Beautiful. Imagine if you're. Um, a blonde this would look so fabulous against your hair with the contrast of and it'll pop out the blonde that's in here and once again this is you never get that mode acrylic and it's, it's oh my god it's so soft it's so soft it's beautiful beautiful come around here Everything is just so soft to the touch. We have polo fleece here. We have hand loom here. Beautiful, beautiful. Almost like the old school feel, you know. Tweeds, suits, jackets, even pants, even suits. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, weatherproof. Oh, nice. Gorgeous. This part here, you know, camouflage is camouflage is not gonna get old. Camouflage is here to stay. Beautiful. Like beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is organic cotton with sea cell. Beautiful. All the plastic pieces and sometimes with your coats and things of that nature or dresses you need fabulous buttons as well and they call this wait they call these patterns country do you see this being country at all <laughs> i think it's very in i think it's actually pretty trendy but everything always has to have a location and where it should go but it's grouped this country and i love it it feels good too this would be like the perfect pillow. Like a pillow for a couch. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you guys. Tex World, New York City, 2022. See you later. Welcome to what is fashion, entertainment, nightlife, and lifestyle. So now we're in this hub that says color therapy. And we can all use some therapy but here we're gonna just add some color so what really caught my eye right here standing here amongst the denim look at this this is amazing it's 100 percent cotton it has haha -ha. as a friend of mine always says the haha -ha is but haha -ha. dreamers la pitti so what else we have here this beautiful light cotton. Feels good to the hands, good to the fingertips as we move closer down. This is beautiful. Draping, dresses, anything a fashion designer can create. They have the fabric came right for there, right for them right there color therapy 
Moda acrylic. Just beautiful and just so soft. Oh my god. Amazing. Let's go be here. Everything is all about color. Color, color, color. Oh, this feels like a very comfortable blanket right here. This fabric will be a nice tailored jacket. Beautiful. Color is in. And this is labeled playful, so everything is very playful here. If you look at the, um, even the one from the denim that I showed earlier, so I would consider this very playful as well to be added to this. Very playful, sequence, scribble lines. Who knew that scribbling would be a fabric? It's beautiful and not just for children. And then you have your polyester, acrylic, and vest posts, and buttons. Well guys, I just wanna thank you for joining us today with, with what is fashion, entertainment, nightlife, and lifestyle. We would like to thank the Java Center for having us today. Tex World New York City 2022. Bye. Thank you guys for joining us today on what is fashion, entertainment, nightlife, and lifestyle. We'll see you again and hopefully we'll see you in Tex World Toronto August 2022. See you then.